Hello, dear friends. Today we are in Huachimontones. Huachimontones is the name of an old pre-Hispanic settlement located in the city and municipality of Teuchitlan, approximately one hour west of Guadalajara. Phil Wengan, an American archaeologist, historian, and anthropologist, discovered this site. He dedicated himself for 30 years to study it. Wengan, together with his wife, Acelia Garcia, rewrote the history of Western Mexico. This site's discovery was a turning point to the idea that no great civilization had developed in the western part of Mexico, comprising the states of Jalisco, Colima, Michoacán, Nayarit, part of Guerrero, Sinaloa, and Zacatecas. This area had no evidence of pyramids or monumental structures, such as the central or the southern part of Mexico, or even in other parts of Mesoamerica, thus believing that the western part was a retarded culture. Compared to all the investigations that had been taken place in other parts of Mesoamerica, this area created very little interest among the investigators due to the absence of large pyramids. However, it is essential to highlight that in Huachimontones, archaeologists had found two crucial elements, the existence of shaft tombs and the presence of sculptures, pots and ceramic figurines as ceremonial offerings found in these burials, highly priced in the national and international black market. These pieces for collectors increased during the 40s, and the sacking also grew, consequently destroying important sites and fundamental data. It wasn't easy to interpret the history and the cultural evolution of these people with a few rescued pieces. This settlement represents the leading site of the Teochitlan tradition, the nuclear area located around the Tequila Volcano from 300 BC to 400 AD. Its ceremonial center includes several constructions with a peculiar architectural style, including several conical structures, one of them with remnants of a flying stick surrounded by circular courtyards, two ball games, a theater, and some terraces and minor buildings, possibly houses for priests. Given its large size, is currently being explored and requires long-term research. All the formal investigations from the archaeological perspective in the Teochitlan Etzatlan area and the Tequila Volcano were scarce. By fortuitous incidents, the discoveries happened. At the beginning of the 50s, a farmer working at the Hacienda of San Sebastián in the municipality of Arenal lost his plow into a hole. The hole turned to be a shaft tomb with this landmark event, but when the archaeologist arrived at the tomb, it had already been sacked. However, they mapped the type of architecture. In the 60s, Acelia Garcia, historian, Phil Clayton Wagon, became the region's scientific pioneer. During a picnic to a Teochitlan spa, they found several obsidian blades of a lytic pre-Hispanic period. By 1969, she and Wagan started studying the artifacts, figurines, and made a complete search of the area. That same year, they visited the shaft tomb of El Arenal and discovered that it was not an isolated tomb. They observed 
several platforms surrounded by a central mound. This was a critical starting point for the investigation that became a lifetime project for them. By the 70s, after several investigation seasons, Weigand revealed the Magdalena Ameca Etzatlan Basin's discovery on the Tequila Volcano Basin. This particular architectural style is called Huachimontón, composed of burial mounds and structures made of step circular levels. For the specific case of the settlement in Teochitlan, the priest used the buildings for ceremonies in honor of the wind god Ehecatl. They included an analog of the flyer's ritual ceremony where a priest climb a high pole to honor the divinity. There is a structure with several layers and four stairways of the cardinal points in the most massive enclosure. The hip ball game is a ritual practice unique in the world. More than 89 courts so far located around the Tequila Volcano show the importance of its approach by the Teochitlan tradition. There is a site museum. The guide of the museum developed by Phil Wagon is the best way to learn about the Teochitlan tradition. Loving Mexico thanks you for being with us today. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Continue watching our videos and enjoy loving Mexico.